Let's talk it out and fly away. Now you got me dreaming. It's not about where we are today. The future rolls a meaning. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to give you a complete tour of the Carnival Pride cruise ship. It's an amazing ship. You're going to be able to see what you can expect when you get on this ship. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button to all these videos and click the notification bell to see future cruise videos and travel videos. Go ahead. Okay, we love Carnival Cruise. We're having a great time. Come aboard, enjoy beautiful food, drinks, beautiful beaches. All right. Welcome to the Carnival Pride. Getting ready for Halloween. It is October. You You can see how beautiful these ships are just walking through the hallways. You get a bar upstairs, up above the Alchemy Bar, which we're going to take you to. This is the Alchemy Bar, which is where they make martinis. Close right now. But dinner time, this place will be packed. Just beautiful tables granite beautiful decorations but again it kind of sees the beauty of this ship welcome to the ivory bar another bar on the ship they have piano music sing-alongs it's really cool so let's go down and check out our room we always book an interior room so i'm going to give you a tour of that all right, these guys work hard. Make sure you give them great tips, right? Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. And you can see, make sure when you get on this cruise ship, interior cabins are the way to go. You save so much money, at least two, three hundred dollars a person. And to be honest, you're just not in the rooms. So here we are, interior room of Carnival Pride. Uh, you can see it's very spacious. We've had five people in these rooms already. Three kids and two adults. Uh, you can see a queen bed here. Uh, that will convert also to two single beds. And a lot of times they have bunks that drop down over top of the bed for children. And here you can see the bathroom. Uh, again, very spacious. Carnival Pride's bathrooms are spacious compared to other cruise lines. <laughs> Thank you. So there is no shortage of food on a cruise ship. You know there's 24-7 dining somewhere on the ship. You're going to gain at least 5 to 10 pounds. There is a gym on board, and I try and hit that up uh, a few times a week just to help when I get home. All right, this is why we cruise, right? It's to eat, uh, and make sure you're eating in the dining room. They're beautiful. They have entertainment. The food is five stars on the Carnival Pride. I can't say enough. Uh, you get to try different things. You'll see uh, pictures of different things that I've taken, such as frog legs. Where else are you going to get to try that anywhere? And they will encourage you to try different items. And something else you don't get in the Lido deck if you choose to eat there is the entertainment. All right, we're at dinner. My wife got the peach soup, and she is going to taste it. But she's had this before, so should be no surprises. How is it? Same as always. Perfect. To the river. 
to the river we go Leave our worries on the shore and drift away On the river On the river we know Sometimes the perfect words are never said I spilled my coffee, I don't feel like talking My worries just keep growing by the day I need a moment where <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Do not miss all the shows that they put on. Whether you go before dinner or after dinner, make sure you're catching the shows. <laughs> Hey, you could see people were wiping down casino machines as soon as you get up. Everything's sanitized before you get on the boat, after you get off the boat. Again, don't be afraid. It's very safe. All right, this is new. They're starting to put like a seafood pay-as-you-go kind of deal. And it looks very fresh and delicious. Okay, we are eating at the seafood corner. It's something new on the Carnival Pride because we've been on here like 10, 12 times. And I got the clam chowder bowl that looks delicious. We're going to try the lobster roll. But again, it's a new option. I've seen it on the Carnival Breeze before they have a seafood market, but not here. So let's see what this is like. That's delicious. All right, I must say, this is probably the best, by far, clam chowder I've ever had. We also got the lobster rolls. Again, watch my other videos. We've done lots of videos on lobster rolls, but never on carnival. So let's see what happens here. My wife's gonna try them. And you get two, and they were $12, which is not a bad price. And she it's says good. it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Try it. Again, you know, this is a la carte. You pay a little extra. That was two for $12 on the lobster roll. This bread bowl was $4, and it's probably a good two cups in there. Absolutely delicious. All right, we're going to head back here and show you a little bit of the water park. But again, this is why we're on this ship. These views are amazing. One thing they have on uh, Carnival cruise ships is a camp usually for children. They call it Camp Carnival, but different age groups they have. And I guarantee you, when they check into these things, they, they will bring them back to this water park. Uh, I don't have video of the actual, they have buckets of water falling down, but you can see here's a couple of the slides they have. It's great for the children. Sign them up for the camps because they will love it. All right, so when I'm not eating, usually this is where you're going to find me. It's called the Serenity Deck, and it's on Deck 9 on the back of the ship. And it's an adults only area. So there usually will be no children back here. They have pools and hot tubs. And you can see th these clamshells. Uh, just make sure you probably want to get down in them early in the morning to grab a clamshell. They also have great lounge chairs uh, to sit by and just watch the ocean go by in the clouds. This is where I spend my day, usually on a sea day uh, where there's no stops. This is where to hang out watch the water, hit the pool, hit a hot tub, and just enjoy your sunny day on the Carnival Pride. Also on the Serenity Deck, there is a bar. Uh, but again, if you're in your clamshell or lounge chairs, there's plenty of staff that will bring around drinks to you. So now we're in the midship area on Deck 9, the Lido Deck of the Carnival Pride. 
you can see there's pools, hot tubs. Uh, there's a, a bar called the Blue Iguana Cantina. They also serve tacos. They're great tacos. They have a great breakfast menu as well. Make sure you don't miss that. And then also uh, in the evenings, you can see by the big screen here, they have a seaside theater. Uh, if there's sporting events, they'll play sporting events there. Uh, they'll play movies in the evening. But again, just a great place to hang out after dinner. Also in the Carnival Pride, they have like a mall area, uh, which you can get different items such as they'll have a liquor store, they have a jewelry store, some gift shops, a candy shop, and, and just other knickknacks, things you may have forgotten you can always pick up on the cruise ship in the fun shop area. And yes, they do have a coffee shop with amazing cookies and donuts. Hello. How you doing? Welcome to the deli. Great hot sandwiches, paninis, Rubens. This is where you get your deli sandwiches and paninis. Welcome to Guy's Burger Joints. These guys are making the burgers here. It's amazing food. Don't miss it. And when you get your burger, don't miss the toppings. They got everything here. Fried onions, mushrooms, lettuce, tomato, chili. Everything you could want is here. And don't miss this too. Every cruise ship's got soft served ice cream. They got vanilla, chocolate mixed, strawberry. And yes, there is a fantastic dessert bar. Look at this stuff. It just looks amazing. Cappuccino mousse, strawberry cheesecake, vanilla cream, cake, cookies, everything. Here we're entering the Lido deck from the back of the ship. At every cruise line, they've got a uh, drinking station. Here's what the drink station looks like. You got your ice water. Always they have lemonade and iced tea to drink. They do have hot chocolate, coffee. Fantastic salad bar. Something different every day too. Also in the Carnival Pride on the Lido deck is where you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you choose not to eat in the dining room area, this is also a great option. They'll have anything from Chinese to Caribbean. Just, it changes every day. Don't miss out. And you gotta go to the pizza place. Pizza Pirate. You got to make sure you get the pizza on the cruise ship. It's open 24 7. <laughs> All right! All right, here we are in the Carnival Pride where they take all the photos, the cruise collectibles. You can find your pictures, purchase them. This is the first song I ever learned how to play, and I still one of my favorites called uh, Play Me. Cancer. All of our donations are going straight to them, so you can get yourself for 10 bucks, uh, for a $10 donation, you can get yourself a shirt and a wristband to demonstrate that you have uh, given some to this great cause. So we've started right here with our fun spot. You just have to line up if you want to be part of the St. Jude Research Hospital. Thank you very much, and we'll see you. Let's get the songs after the songs with Brent. There we go. Enjoy. All right, we're on a carnival cruise ship here. These guys are sitting at the table eating, and we're getting ready for the chocolate buffet, right? Yeah, yeah the chocolate buffet. And we're all having fun. Yeah. 
That's what it's all about. And every cruise, they will have a chocolate buffet. Man, if you could smell the chocolate, it is so much chocolate smell here, it is crazy. I can't wait to get some of this. Pudding, cheesecake, chocolate cake. Beautiful what they do here. Everything. These guys work hard for this, but they love to do it. This is what a storm's like or in a carnival pride. How you doing? Whoa! Almost run. My, if I run into you. <laughs> So this is one of the perks. It's called the repeaters party. If you get, yeah, it's platinum level. So here they have, it's lasts about an hour. They have entertainment, drinks, hors d'oeuvres, and uh, it's a private, private party. Food operations manager, put your hands together for Raj. This is what they do at the repeaters party. You get to meet the whole team. And again, it's a private party. Clifton. All right, you can see this art auction. It's getting ready to get started, but they got tons of pictures. And pretty soon this place will be full. But I think it's cool how they have all the uh, art displayed. This is also where they do comedy shows. And uh, again, mask up, sip, and cover. <laughs> the end to a perfect vacation. Oh, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your blue. Stars inside your